Hey. Hi and welcome back. Today we're just going to do a quick little video on Blender and just how to get up and running in it. So when you first open it up you're just going to have a cube and you're going to be in object mode. You can go into all these different modes uh, or you can just press tab and it will put you into edit mode. So that will just toggle you, toggle you back and forth. Uh, when you're in edit mode, you have the ability to move around the vertices and actually do the 3D modeling. Um, so you have all these different points, they're your vertices, you can select them and move them around as you wish. Or you can come down and select edges instead and select a whole edge at once. Or you can come and select faces. Um, so other selection tools, uh, you can press Z to go into wireframe. And then once you're in uh, wireframe, you can do this out of wireframe as well, but it's a little bit easier in wireframe to get the other side. Uh, you can press C and then with the mouse wheel, you can scale up and down and that will allow you to drag and select different areas or you can middle mouse click to one select. Then you also have B for a box select. And then, yeah, that's basically the basics of selecting. We also have A to select all and A to unselect. And that's just for everything, or everything on the current selected object. Um, so yeah, we select these, we can move them around, and then we can press S to scale them. And we can press E, whoops. We can press E to extrude them, which will pull the face out of that face. And we can scale it, whoops. Scale it up again. And then we can do things like extrude and right click to unselect it, and then scale that down and extrude it into itself, make a cavity like that. Um, what else do we want to show? We can come over into the modifiers and do this in object mode. We can add a subsurface, which will just give it more detail, and then we can control that over here. So you got like video game quality, maybe that's video game quality depending on what the object is. Yeah, that's probably better. And then like movie. So you can do stuff like that to quickly create shapes. Um, other thing you can do is, we'll come back in here, select that object, delete it. We can create new objects. So maybe you want to start with a cylinder instead. Delete, or maybe you want to start with a cone. Whatever you want to start with, you can just choose them. Do something with a cylinder. Actually, let's go over to a cube and show a bit more of some modifiers. So we can come into here and add a skin, which will turn it into this kind of shape. And let's just apply that. We do it in object mode. And then we can come in and add a bevel, although bevel probably won't like this shape very much. I oh, know it did quite fine. So we can add a bevel, change the size of the bevel. And that's basically like another way we can do. Oh no, yeah, see the bevel didn't like these corners. We could fix that manually, but an easier way to do that instead of the bevel would probably be we have the bevel off. No, we don't. Oh, that was actually part of the original transform, maybe? No, it wasn't. We can come in and add the subsurface, and that would do it a lot nicer. Okay, so that's some little stuff we can do with that. Um, if you want to get something moving around, it's pretty simple. Down here we have our timeline. So we can just come into here and then add a... What's going on here? Oh. Need to be in um, object mode again. So we can come in and add in a keyframe, and then we'll move it over here. Move our object over here, add another keyframe. And now when we press play, it will just do that. Um, if we want it to rotate when it's doing that, we can come back over to here and add our keyframe at zero. Come over to here. Add one at 360. And press, well, go back to the start, whoops. Go back to the start, press play. 
and now we do a rotation over there. If we want it to continue rotating, we can go to our dope sheet. I want to open it up over here. Whoops, I did just open up a new window. Okay, come to our dope sheet. And then in here, we can grab that rotation we made and just add it onto a channel. And now if we press play, it will just continue to rotate. And as you can see, it's not rotating around its center. It's rotating, or well, it's rotating around its center, but not its actual center of mass around its artificial center that we created. So if we remove all of that, you can see here is our center point. And as we went forwards, we put our center point over there. So now it's rotating around that. And basically we can move that back by, if we just get rid of this modifier. So back at the very start, we'll collapse this window. Um, if we are in object mode, we are moving the entire thing and its point. But if we just grab its vertices, we're just moving the vertices around its point and we can move it around however we want and then go back like that and move them around together. Um, what else? Multiple objects is a thing. So if we want, we can be in object mode and create another object. So we'll just make another cube. And now you'll see you have two different cubes and you can only edit one at a time. So I can't select that one. I need to go into there to select them. But if I press shift, I can um, shift click. I can select them both, but I can still only edit one, but I can join them together. That's not how that's setting a parent. How do I join them together again? Ah, control J and that will join them together. And now they are one object or you can just have it. So instead of creating the object in this mode, you create it in here and now we have three of them all together. You can also disconnect them. Um, now I need to remember how to disconnect them. Not that. Nope. No. Hmm. Wait, what is that? Ah, that's just a shortcut for bevel. I didn't even know that was there. So control B is the shortcut for bevel. But yeah, you can make them not, um, you can disconnect them from being a part of that object. I just can't really remember how to right now. So yeah, maybe I'll show that in the next one. But yeah, that's basically everything you need to get a like basic up and running understanding of it. There's a few other cool things you can do. Like if we want, we can make another object a cube. We'll put this cube into this cube. And then we'll come over here and we'll add a boolean and we'll select that other cube, change it to be, oops, the difference, apply it. Now if we move that cube, you can see we cut a hole out of it. So you can do cool things like that. That can allow you to put, um, for example, that's how I put holes in the middle of gears. I'll make just a shape for the holes and I'll go through and just rotate it around the gear, cutting holes. Um, yeah, you can do cool shit like that. But I think I'll keep it just at that for this video so I'm not overloading you too much. Um, how long has the video been going for? Actually, I'll just quickly cover materials as well. So let's just uh, get rid of that cube that we made, come back over to our other cubes come into Z, use the box select like I showed before. We'll delete those cubes. And then we'll just work with this one. Okay, so we want to assign a material. So we'll come to the material tabs and we'll make ourselves a red material. And there we go, it's assigned, we're done. But what if we want it to be different colors? So we'll come over and select this face and we'll make a new material. We'll make a green material. And then it is just, yeah, a matter of clicking assign. So we can just do that for as many faces as we want. We won't do any more because that's enough to be able to see all three. And then we can do other things like come in and change the shininess. So that one's super shiny, but you can't really see because I'm not in the right mode. So come over here, we'll go to material. If we change the specular now, oh, it's not doing it in real time. Oh, I need to change into 
uh, real-time rendering. But yeah, now you can actually see that. Just basically how shiny it is. I mean, that's a darkness. This one's how shiny it is. But the light isn't in the best spot to really show it. But yeah, then we can also come and change into like a tune shader and get tune effects. Or we can come in and put in, I don't know, what do we want to do? Jump cut. Um, so yeah, I think that might actually be it for today. I think we went over enough for one video. That's enough stuff that to have to remember and learn. So in the next video, probably go into the tune shader and a bit more in depth on everything probably. So yeah, thank you for watching and be sure to subscribe. Check out my Twitter, check out my game. I run a company called One Right Games, obviously linked right there. You can see the website. Um, and yeah, check out our game Elden. It's pretty cool. Coming out in November. So if you like 2D, medieval, swords and magic, all that kind of stuff, definitely check it out. Cheers for watching.